Good morning, everyone, and thank you for coming. I'm Councilmember Robert Carnegie, Chair of the Council's Committee on Housing and Buildings. We're here to hold a vote on four bills today, three related to housing lotteries and one related to construction safety. Housing developments that receive tax statements, exemptions, or other forms of public funding containing units set aside for individuals who fall within specific area median income demands and household sizes. Individuals can get leases with these units by entering house lotteries, and for many individuals, being a lease one of these units can be a pin for winning the lottery. Many lotteries receive upwards of 70,000 applications. Although some New Yorkers do receive housing for these lotteries, the process is frequently fraught with complaints. These include complaints that the process is opaque and that there is a lack of clarity about what, who exactly is receiving units in these developments. Similar complaints have been made about the non-housing developments. Three of the bills we will be putting on today to provide the best way to the housing lottery process. Proposed intro number 558, sponsored by Councilmember Levine, would require the Department of Housing Preservation and Development to report on the housing process, including implementation application and procedures for filing waiting lists. I'm sorry, filling waiting lists. This will allow us to better understand the problems with housing lottery so that it can be information about application demographics such as race, housing, proposed intro number 716A, sponsored by the public advocate, require APD to report having this information allows us to improve the effectiveness of Mitchell Lama waiting lists. 20C, also sponsored by the Lewis. Rever and Chin. From the great village of Harlow. We'll ask the clerk uh, to read the housing and buildings. All items are coupled. Chair. Kordenchik. Aye. Back of the bus. I vote of by the committee. 